Hello, and welcome to the Hats and Glasses activity. My name is Kelly Carlson. I am a mechanical engineer for FIRST Robotics Competition, Game Design Leap for 2021 and 2023, and an FRC alumni and FIRST Scholarship recipient. In this video, I will explain the Hats and Glasses activity. This is an activity that we have completed as a game design team at FIRST Headquarters. This activity provides a platform for team members, both students and mentors, to discuss the different roles they feel responsible for and express different viewpoints they bring to the table. In this video, I will quickly go through the slides. Teams are encouraged to pause the video if they need additional time to read the content. The slides can also be found on the FIRST website with other at-home challenge content. As you can see, hats are your responsibilities. These are likely tied to the roles and responsibilities on your team. Glasses are your experiences. These are the things that you do outside of your robotics team or experiences that you've gained from participating on an FLL or FTC team. Sunglasses are a dynamic that you dislike. The hopeful outcome of this activity is that you end up with a better understanding of your teammates and that you feel your teammates have a better understanding of you. We believe this will help with your team's overall dynamic. Now let's jump into some examples. An important part of this activity is that you're honest with the content that you generate. Try to think about the difference between hats and glasses. In addition to being honest, please be thorough. This is your opportunity to share your thoughts with your teammates. As a team, you should think if there are any other ground rules for generating content. These are just a few examples. Another important part of this activity is that all of your teammates adhere to ground rules. These rules will help make sure everyone is comfortable sharing their content. Some of the rules we used when we did this activity as a game design team were to assume positive intent, to be open-minded when hearing people's perspectives, to trust that teammates have thought about the activity and their responses, and understand that even though people may have the same hat or glasses, you might not agree with that person on every decision. Similarities don't mean you're the same. What are some other ground rules that your team should put in place for this activity? Also, think about if these ground rules should be used when having discussions about game design in general. The examples shown here are also listed on the hats and glasses worksheet. I will walk you through some specific examples that I put together related to being a student, a mentor, and what I do as a game designer. I am an FRC alum, so my example here reflects the hats and glasses that I had while on my team. My hats included being a team captain, where I focused on our overall success. I also had hats for awards, presentations, and outreach, and had responsibilities that included being mindful of award submission guidelines, understanding my team's financial needs, and ensuring we were being an active member of our community. My last hat on the team was to be a robot builder. Although sometimes I would lead a small group on robot build or would be responsible for a specific component, my role was largely not to be in charge of the overall robot. My glasses included the other roles that I had on the team or roles that I held at different times. These weren't things that I was always responsible for, but they helped shape my perspective. Other glasses included being a club liaison at my school, my perspective of being one of the only young women on my team, and being an event volunteer while I was in high school. My sunglasses was definitely being told that we had to do something because it's always been done that way. I like to either know the specifics of why it was done a certain way or to be encouraged to challenge the norm. As a mentor, my hats and glasses were pretty different than being a student. My mentor hats were somewhat dependent on the specific role I was contributing to the team. However, they always included ensuring that students were safe, felt engaged, felt valued, and were learning new skills. In roles where I was more technically hands-on, I also needed to ensure students were practicing safe workshop behavior. My mentor glasses included all of the experience that I had from being on an FRC team, previous mentoring experience, and being an event volunteer. Those experiences and working with my own mentors helped me better understand how to mentor a new team. Another big glasses for me was that I was a first scholarship award recipient, and I know that a lot of my success in high school was tied to having great mentors that I could look up to and rely on. That was something I valued and shaped a lot of the decisions I would make. My college education, clubs from high school and college, and work experiences and background also shaped my opinions and areas of expertise. My sunglasses as a mentor is when plans aren't communicated. I like being kept in the loop so I can be helpful to the team as possible. 
uh, while still being able to perform all of my outside mentoring responsibilities. In my role at FIRST and on game design, my hats are very much tied to my actual job description. I am a mechanical engineer for FRC, and I act as a mechanical subject matter expert on game design. This doesn't mean that I always have the answers, but I will do research or ask other members of the mechanical team in order to come back with the solution that I am confident in. I also work on the team that creates field build instructions and manages event support, so my game design team can know that I am constantly thinking about how easy or hard designs or concepts will be, and if the difficulty is a deal breaker or not. My last hat for game design is that I am the game design lead for my team, which means that I am thinking about the entire process of game design and ensuring that we're on track to meet deadlines, even when we have to iterate on ideas. My classes are pretty much accumulation of all of the first in work experience that I have. My sunglasses are when meetings get loud or when people raise their voice. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes people can be very passionate about a topic. I shared this with my team because I thought it was important that they know that as a lead, I often take a step backwards when these situations occur. I hope you and your team have success as you work through the hats and glasses activity and that you learn a little bit about each other along the way.